What's up everyone, welcome back. This week another kayak tutorial coming as you, a popular one, a most requested one. Uh, this week I'm gonna be talking about the double pump, how to get your boat vertical, uh, or your freestyle kayak vertical, I should say. A couple really useful things to know about it. We're gonna talk about the basics, we're gonna run through um, kind of from start to finish, and then towards the end some troubleshooting tips if you're already doing it, but you're not doing it correctly. So let's just get started. What is a double pump? Um, like I'm showing in this example here, the double pump is basically lifting up my bow on edge and then slamming it back down to achieve uh, the goal of getting my boat to be vertical, whether that's to get to a bow stall or to end up doing flat water cartwheels. Uh, we need to get to that somewhat vertical position in order to achieve that, right? So a double pump is just the, the name we use for that style of lifting up and slamming down because it's like two actions like lift slam um, and that's that's why it's called a double pump as far as I know. There might be a more technical reason for it, but that's that's what I know about right now. Um, so let's talk about the mechanics of how we're gonna do that. So like I broadly described, we're gonna lift up and slam down. Um, we're gonna do that with our boat on edge, right? So let's take that first lifting up portion of what we're looking at and we can break it down into a few key steps. So essentially what I'm doing is a sweep stroke, uh, but on a this axis, this like vertical axis, right? My paddle is actually doing a toes to hips sweep stroke, but instead of my boat moving this way, it's moving, it's moving this way in that upwards and then downwards trajectory. So I'm starting off in that sweep stroke position, roughly in that sweep stroke position, but actually just flipping that axis. Uh, invert through 90 degrees and that's what I'm going to be doing with my paddle to start off with. My paddle is obviously not the only thing at, at play here. You can see my body stays nice and center and my weight stays very central. My body doesn't move forwards or backwards super super aggressively uh, and then what you can't see but I'm going to tell you about is my legs. My knees are actually pulling up into my chest because my boat's already on that vertical axis, it means my bow is getting nice and high out of the water, ready for that slam down kind of part two. The higher I can get my bow to go up, the easier it's gonna to be to slam it nice and, nice and down into the water to get a big vertical end. So the more I can keep my body central, but pull my knees up into my chest, the easier it's gonna be for me to lift up and then slam down into that in that double pump motion once my boat's at the apex of its rise so once i've used that sweeping movement with my paddle on that vertical axis pulling my knees up into my chest i'm then going to turn my body so it's going to be leading my boat so my shoulders are going to square up to the water and at which point i'm going to drop a little bit more edge and then drive down with my feet switching my paddles from a sweeping pull to like a pushing down stroke, almost like a low brace support stroke um, or like a pushing back sweep stroke in that vertical axis again. As I'm pushing down, there's a lot of stuff going on here. We're gonna break it down one component at a time. Uh, first with my paddle, because we talked about that first um, in that first phase, I'm gonna be switching from pulling with the power face of my left blade to pushing down with the back face of my left blade. Okay, so I'm going pull in that sweep axis and then push in that back sweep axis on with my boat kind of vertical, right? And that's what I'm talking about. Uh, instead of doing a traditional back sweep where I'd be turning, I'm turning my boat through that vertical axis. With my legs and feet, the hardest component to see, I'm gonna be pushing my feet underneath me nice and hard. And if you look at my upper body, you can see there's good separation here. My upper body stays fairly in the middle, not moving super aggressively backwards or forwards. That keeps my weight nice and central. And my feet and legs are pushing my boat down into the water, which achieves that super vertical position that we are shooting for. Lastly, you'll see my head and my upper body is leading my boat. They're squared off to my paddle, which is kind of on the surface of the water. Having my head and shoulders in that position kind of forces my lower body to have to follow me into that upright position, which is the goal here, ultimately. A key thing here that's not super obvious unless you're really looking for it is that there's a bit more of an edge drop as I drop that bow into the water. We talked about lifting up our bow on edge, but now we're gonna have to drop a little bit more edge when we're at the apex of that rise to, so that we slice down 
nicely in. If you don't drop that edge, your bow is gonna get rejected and you'll fall out, like kind of fall back over to upright. And if you drop too much edge, you're gonna flop over onto your head. So it's a pretty fine line, but once you've dialed in what it should feel like, it's easy to, to go back and do it again and again and again. Just like with pretty much all freestyle tricks, having my head and body leading my boat is super important. That, the same is true here. Uh, I, it's really critical that I've turned my body ahead of my boat, especially as it's in that apex of its rise, so that, it, it, so that my legs can follow my body into that vertical position. This is super important and it's kind of a, the core concept of, of the whole double pump movement, is that your head and body have to lead your boat. A lot of people are going to be relying too much on just pushing and pulling with their arms and their paddles and they're not going to be really effectively and efficiently using all their core power just by activating their body by turning it into the direction they're trying to go to. Okay, so let's talk about some troubleshooting things. Um, if you're already trying to do this double pump maneuver and you're not having success with it, there is a few things, a few classic things I like to think of that you're probably doing wrong that are fairly simple to solve. Um, so let's say you're lifting your bow up and then you're slamming down and kind of falling on your head and ending up upside down. That is usually caused by too much edge. So too much edge as you're dropping back down. Remember I was saying earlier, you do have to drop a bit more edge when you're at the apex of your eyes, but not too much because that's going to force you upside down. Another really common one is moving your body too much, either forwards or backwards, especially backwards and almost trying to like stand up. All that's gonna do is push you into the, an over vertical position and push you onto your face. And that's that centralized body movement is also key. A bit down the line, once you've got the hang of the, the double pump, you're gonna end up in a bow stall position. And if we look at this clip here, you can see when my body's neutral, I can stay in that stalled out position. And if I try and stand up, my body moving backwards and up is actually kind of pitch pulling me onto my face really aggressively. And this is the same during our double pump. We have to lift up and slam down, but our body has to stay fairly centered so that we're doing more of a push with our legs. Otherwise you're gonna end up flopping onto your head. Another really common mistake is you're not leading your boat with your head and with your upper body. And you're just kind of staying in line with it or you're even looking kind of at your toes to see if your boat's gone up high enough yet. And that's a classic mistake. Um, and it doesn't engage enough of your core muscles, so it makes it really hard to achieve that vertical bow stall position, right? So the more we're leading uh, our boat and not looking at our boat, but looking where we're trying to go to, the easier it is. So just think about that, like eyes looking where you wanna go, and that's gonna help just snowball a bunch of other small things into line to make it really easy for you. I would say those are the most common mistakes people make when they're trying to learn the double pump, too much edge, not enough edge, um, moving their body backwards or forwards too much, looking in the wrong place, looking at their bow um, or something like that. And I'm really interested to hear if you, when you learned this, you had any different experiences, please leave me a, a comment below. Hopefully this video has been useful and helpful if you're trying to learn the double pump. It's really fun and it's like kind of a precursor to a lot of other flat water tricks, but it's also a good boat control exercise that will help a lot with your whitewater freestyle. So the, the more you can be kind of practicing it and working on it and have really good boat control, really good fundamental basic skills, the easier it, the, the harder moves down the line are. So it is worth investing time into. That's pretty much all I've got for this week. Um, really great to see you again. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in a future video. Peace.